It is now eight months since Bishop Barber Harris's death. Our deep sense of loss is compounded by our continuing inability on account of the coronavirus to hold in-person gatherings in celebration of her life and witness. Nevertheless, our prayers of thanksgiving continue, deep and genuine. Through the words of the eulogy that she delivered for her mentor and friend, the Reverend Van Bird, which is published in her memoir, Hallelujah Anyhow, Bishop Barber tells us the following. The great orator and abolitionist Frederick Douglass once said, you don't get everything you pay for in life, but you pay for everything you get. While it is difficult to dispute the basic truth of that statement, the one thing we do not pay for is grace. What our elders called free grace, undying love. It was grace that allowed Job through all his travail and woe to proclaim, I know that my Redeemer lives and my eyes shall behold him and not a stranger. It was grace that put a song in the heart of Mary, the God-bearer, and caused her to say, my soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my savior. It was grace that moved John Newton, captain of a slave ship, to weary of trafficking in human flesh and after years of trying to become a priest in the church and to give us among many others that hymn to which we so often turn for comfort. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. The prophet Jeremiah asked, is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? And it was grace that enabled our slave forebears, though chained and shackled, to sing, there is a balm in Gilead, to make the wounded whole. Bishop Barber went on to say it was grace that enabled her friend and mentor, Van, to live a life that exemplified the belief that we've come this far by faith. And we can say the same of her, adding in her words, we trust our God for the next step of the journey and the determination that I will go, I shall go, to see what the end will be. We pause now in remembrance as one way to hold Bishop Barbara in our hearts and prayers and commend her with gratitude to eternal life alongside all those whom we love but see no longer. We are mindful too that in this time of pandemic there are burdens of uncertainty, injustice, illness, grief, and losses of all kinds weighing heavy on many hearts. We lift it all, in the words of the New Zealand prayer book, to God of the present moment, God who in Jesus stills the storm and soothes the frantic heart, bringing hope and courage to all. Now we take a moment to breathe into that stillness and embrace that hope. After a brief period of silence, our bishop will offer a prayer. <laughs> 